at 5. The top challenger to American Pharaoh is out of Saturday's Breeders' Cup Classic at Keeneland. Beholder was bleeding following her morning gallop. Trainer Richard Mandela says that it was the result of a fever that the five-year-old champion mare developed when she arrived last week. Beholder was the second choice behind the Triple Crown winner. And speaking of American Pharaoh, he galloped this morning on the training track synthetic surface. Trainer Bob Baffert planned to use the main dirt track, but changed his mind after seeing days of rain and what it had done to the track left it a muddy mess. This is the first time that Keeneland has hosted the Breeders' Cup. As Natalie Grice reports, record crowds for the track are expected for this weekend's races. Well, the excitement started early here at Keeneland. The crowds came out long before the sun did. They do have racing here today, and they're calling it Prelude to the Cup. Now, even though we're in the middle of horse country, in the 31 year history of the Breeders' Cup, there has never been one here at Keeneland. So, naturally, people are thrilled that the event is finally coming home. Some of the fastest horses in the world are born just miles away from Keeneland. This weekend, the best of them will be back. We finally figured it out after 31 years uh, in our own backyard, and it's been incredible. What an incredible reception we've received here in Lexington. The whole town's on fire. Welcoming the Breeders' Cup is one thing. Accommodating it is another. Keeneland holds about 7,000 people normally, and this Friday and Saturday, they're expecting crowds of 45,000. More than $5 million was spent on temporary facilities. Uh, we had to take our cues from folks who've done it before in other places. We talked to our friends at Churchill. Downs who know how to put on big events and how they shuttle folks in. Elliston says this Breeders' Cup already has record ticket sales. The previous record was 10 million set in 2010 at Churchill Downs. But he says by the end of the weekend, ticket sales here at Keeneland will be more than 19 million. This is the breeding capital of the world for thoroughbreds. So it's very humbling for us to do it in our backyard. It's a payback in many respects, and it was kind of a leap because this is a smaller venue that's never held it. I think we were right in doing that, and it's going to be rewarding to do it in front of all these folks who, who make these, these horses uh, for us to enjoy. Now, attendance won't be the only numbers that are carefully watched over the next few days. Keeneland's November sales start on Monday, and you can bet people will be very interested to see how the Breeders' Cup impacts that. In Lexington, I'm Natalie Grice, WLKY Sports. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Well, Churchill Downs wants to host the 2018 Breeders' Cup, which was last year in 2010. That's one of the things that the board for the Breeders' Cup will discuss at its December meeting. A decision is